Jeffrey Powers with Geekazine. We got Rob here, and the company is called Meta Materials Inc. It's time to change your microwave. I know because I've been looking at new microwaves, and now that I've seen this, I want to change this microwave. We're going to talk about that next on Geekazine. As you, as you might see, this I mean, you might not see, you might not realize what's different about this besides the fact that that's really not real food right there. But what makes this microwave the thing to have the, the better than any other microwave that you've got? It's the first microwave oven that has a perfectly transparent window on the door. Let's you look as you cook, see the food, but it protects you just as effectively against the microwave radiation as that ugly drilled metal plate that you have on the microwave you've got now. Yeah, they got the little mesh on there, and you can kind of see through little holes you and stuff. Bend over like and that. squint. Maybe you can see what's going on. Yeah, and, but and probably yeah. pause it and open the door. Why hasn't this been a thing up until now? So it's a physics problem. Okay. We love it's, physics on Geekazine. We do. Yeah. So. You know that microwaves are, are a waveform, it's radiation, yeah. so is visible light. So we need to make a layer that blocks one waveform, microwave okay. radiation, and lets visible light go back and forth without being blocked. Okay. We do this with what's called a metamaterial. Okay. It's a repeating pattern of submicron wires, okay. too small for the human eye to see, that are at the right arrangement, a repeating pattern to block the microwaves. Okay. But they don't interfere with visible light. It's high 90% transparent, but it's just as effective, if not more, at shielding the microwave radiation. It's just a regular microwave otherwise. It's just got this new glass that's on it. We're going to make the window module, as you can see up above, which is glass in the front and back, because you got to be able to clean it, right? Yeah. If you overcook the uh, spaghetti sauce yeah. in there, it's going to splatter around. you got to be able to wipe the glass. But in between is the nanoweb. That's our transparent conductive film, which is a patented proprietary technology. Okay. And some bonding layers. And what we're going to sell to the OEM is that window as a package. It was ready to go. Everything else stays the same. Okay. That was my next question was you're not going to make a microwave. You're just going to uh, give them the glass to uh, use in their microwave. Meta is a business-to-business -business company. Yeah. What we're about is helping OEMs deliver breakthrough next-generation products that do things that people haven't seen before. Is this available now? Are you starting we're, to sell? We're getting ready to go into production this year. We've been in contact with various OEMs in the business of making microwaves. Okay. So we could be seeing a microwave with a see-through uh, glass by the end of the year or by the end of next year? Let's say CES next year. CES next year. Uh, uh, GE or Kenmore or, uh, or whatever your we'll, favorite. We'll, we'll see. Whatever your favorite. Now, we're not, I'm, not, I'm just saying brands to, just to, to give you an idea. But we, nothing has been set in stone on this yet. This is a feature that the consumer can instantly recognize. They see the value. We've done focus groups and been told that people will pay more for a microwave with this feature. Okay. So that's case one. Okay. Now suppose you'd like to make a high-end appliance. You want a combination convection microwave. Now you really need to see through the door because if you're cooking convection, you don't want to burn the chicken or the, the cake or whatever it is you're yeah. cooking. And so, but if it's going to be microwave, you've got to have a large window that's transparent and offers the EMI shielding. Okay. Who would have thought I would be geeking out over a microwave at CES 2023? You geek out over something else? Oh, yeah. You got something else? Oh, he's got something else. So That's good. Web is a platform technology. Okay. We can do a bunch of different things with it. Got it. You might have seen or seen ads for these fancy new cars okay. right, that have yeah, semi-autonomous driving, yeah, yeah. automatic cruise control. Okay. You just sit back and it will follow in traffic. It'll make a passing maneuver on its own. Okay. So those are called Advanced Driver Assistance Systems, ADAS, ADAS. Okay. Okay. and they depend on a range of sensors to see the world around the car. If you're traveling in northern climates where there's fog, ice, covers over the sense, then all that high-tech doesn't do you any good. You're okay. back to squinting through the windshield and hoping you don't hit something. We can take our NanoWeb film, still very transparent. Put your hand over there, Jeffrey. Just right by the window and you'll feel the heat. Oh, oh, that's where, oh. Wow, there is heat there. So that's starting to, that could melt, melt the snow, that could melt the ice. Okay. It's a very efficient transparent conductor. You can see on this IR camera that it's a very uniform. Okay. 
So okay. that's another application that we're ready to produce. You apply a current to it to generate okay. the heat. It's just like with your back windshield, except without the lines. It's a, it's a similar concept to the back windshield, but it's much more efficient okay. and not visible to the camera or the radar or the LiDAR. And I can put this on the front window. I can put this on the back window. I can put this on the side windows. So right now, we have relatively small scale capacity. So the sensor window in front of a camera or a radar is something we can cover and at a value that makes sense. Okay. As we scale up to wider substrates and more capacity, then we can cover the whole windshield, the sunroof, the rear windows. Sunroof. And I can imagine that could then transfer to the house and your, your home windows and, and things like that. So another application for NanoWeb is to improve signal propagation in 5G networks. 5G is great for moving lots of data. Yeah. It's a higher frequency. Okay. But it doesn't go as far, even line of sight, as the prior generation. All right. If it encounters an object in the environment, it's a glass, it's a building, it's trees. Yeah. It's very easily attenuated. Okay. So it's hard to spread the signals, and they don't get into buildings very well at all. We can make a nano web reflector film that will guide the 5G signal. Reflect it just as well as a small This stuff plate. is getting better and better as we talk, so it can improve your 5G signal in, in the and, end, right? And we can do things that you wouldn't find in nature. Hit something and reflects, and it's going to be uniform, okay. right? In the, at this angle, out at the same angle. Yeah. Now, suppose inside a building, you've got signal coming in and down a hall, but now you need it to go around a corner and into a conference room. Okay. We can take a transparent film. And bounce. Put it on the wall. Doesn't change the aesthetics of the interior at all. We can take that signal that's coming perpendicular and shoot it off to the side. That's crazy. So it doesn't even have to be a window. It could be a picture frame it set up a, in a hallway. It could be a TV. It could be a window. Yeah. Cover the TV yeah. with a film and spread signal throughout the room. Oh my goodness. It could be. And you could probably put also put it on a solar panel and have. I, I'm, I'm, now my head's starting to spin with these there, physics. There are solar applications for what we do, and that's something that's in our longer-term roadmap. But oh, wow. as of today, we're working on the EMI shielding for transparent okay. uh, microwave ovens, on the transparent heaters for automotive applications. Okay. There's lots of other transparent heating applications that people ask us about, yeah. like motorcycle helmets, windshields of snowmobiles and ATVs, yep. headlights of cars, yep. et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we also have the 5G reflector film. That was uh, <clears throat> won us an innovation award in 2021. Okay. So this technology won an innovation award from CES this year. Congratulations. In 21, our 5G reflector project won an innovation award from Lux Research. Is there anything this thing can't do? Well, it, it, it technically... It make a decent espresso. I'm going to let you go, because if you say anything more about, you know, maybe putting this into water bottles or something like that to make your water even better, that's going to blow my mind. I don't want your head switched off. Okay, yeah. So, thank you very much, Rob, thank for your time. <laughs> so, I feel like Steve Jobs. I just got the one more thing, and we got a brand new iPhone 77. So, anyway, the, the glass, the name of the company is called Meta Materials Inc. You can check it out. Awesome stuff here at CES 2023. Jeffrey Powers with Geekazine. YouTube.com forward slash Geekazine. Go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, bell notification so you know when the next video comes out. Until next time, geek out and take a look at your food because it's almost 12 seconds, 11, 10, 9. Let's look back up. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And dinner's ready. All right.